Welcome to the Layer 2 Related Content Web Part Product video. My name is Lars Selinski and I'm working as a Sales Consultant for Layer 2. Layer 2 is a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner and offers products in the fields of data integration and knowledge management for SharePoint, as well as additional consulting services in the fields of SharePoint, .NET Programming and IT Infrastructure. The Layer 2 Related Content Web Part for Microsoft SharePoint allows you to display related content on a given page such as a responsible contact person, related documents, or further links. You probably know similar features for related products, for example from Amazon.com. It is possible to define content relationships in SharePoint 2010 or 2013 by categorizing content using centrally managed metadata. An automated and dynamic view of related content can be implemented with a Layer 2 Related Content Web Part for SharePoint 2010 or 2013 as a modern search-driven application. In this video, I will show you how to use the Layer 2 Related Content Web Part to dynamically display related content within your portal. Furthermore, I will show you the basic configurations of the Web Part. One scope of the Layer 2 Related Content Web Part is the dynamic view of related content on any SharePoint page, for example, a wiki page. As an example, I prepared a SharePoint Enterprise wiki within my portal and placed the Layer 2 Related Content web part on all pages of the wiki. Furthermore, the wiki pages are equipped with corresponding categories, which are centrally managed by the SharePoint Term Store. If we take a look at a single wiki page, we will see the related content of the Layer 2 Related Content web part just underneath the editorial content. The related content is shown dynamically based on the page categories. The categories of the current page are also assigned to the content, therefore they are related to each other. If I switch to another page, different content is shown in the Layer 2 Related Content web part because different categories are assigned to this page. Let's take a look at the web part settings of the Layer 2 Related Content web part. In the section Custom Settings of the web part settings, you can adjust the specific settings of the Layer 2 Related Content web part. First of all, you are able to choose which tag type should be considered to determine relevant related content. In this example, only terms for the automated search of related content should be used. Next, you'll have the possibility to choose an alternative search application. If this field is kept blank, the system standard is used. You can also provide an additional search scope to use a certain kind of related content to determine, for example, documents or persons. Within the section Terms, terms can be preset to display specific content independently of the current page. You can choose terms out of the structure of the centrally managed metadata and link them using AND, alternatively OR. I'm not using preset terms in my presentation to simply show the related content of the current page. Finally, I can choose how many results should be shown and in which order the results should be presented. I can also choose another XSL template or customize my XSL template to change the style of the content presentation. You could, for example, group and sort by content types and by their publishing date. I confirm by clicking OK. The Layer 2 Related Content web part shows me related content according to the configuration just now. It simplifies the detection of related content by users as well as the editorial work because of the automated linking. The Layer 2 Related Content web part can be downloaded after registration at the Layer 2 homepage. It can be used for free with some shareware limitations. To have the full functionality, you have to purchase a license. Thank you for joining. Please visit www.layer2.de slash en slash products for more information.